Hello crafty friends and welcome to day one of Holovlog. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing these every day. I have a lot, as you can see, I have a lot of boxes. Um, I have something like 12 total countdown boxes between yarn and cross stitch and that's a lot. So I don't know that I can do that every day, but I will try to give pictures. I'll try to do whatever. Um, I do want to share the things with y'all, um, though I think this year I'm going to focus more on just um, taking the time to enjoy a little bit of, of joy myself each day. So if I don't post them, um, if I don't video them and post them every day, I apologize, but that's, that's where we are. Um, and as you already saw in the, um, in the video leading up to this, um, in addition to the crafty advents, I also have, uh, the Boxu Japanese snack box, uh, which I opened for you. There were actually three of these little mochi, one of which I've eaten. It's delicious. I love them. They're quite good. Um, so I have that box. I have a coffee box. This one, today's was peppermint and I am not into peppermint. So I actually have the apple cider donut um, coffee from the Lofty Loops advent in my coffee cup right now. Delish, even though it's like 7 p.m. as I'm <laughs> filming this. Um, and let's see what, oh, and uh, the Evertotes I'm not going to be showing on camera right now uh, because, because I decided to let myself have a little bit of, um, of freedom and I started opening my Evertotes yesterday. When I say started opening, I've actually opened three days worth of Evertotes. <laughs> the box is actually, it's, uh, it's right there. <laughs> That's the Evertotes box. So I'm ahead by, by a couple days uh, because I just had, I had the sudden urge to stitch. I just wanted to get into, I wanted to dive into the box and stitch the box. So I'm going to be opening the Evertotes box as I, as I stitch it, um, as I want to stitch it um, because it's been, it's been a year. It's been, um, it's been a, it's been a year <laughs> and <laughs> for so very many reasons. And I have not felt like stitching very much. So, um, the fact that I just had the urge to stitch something and I wanted to start the new, um, stitch along that goes along with the Evertotes countdown. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to let myself have this. I'm just going to open the, I'm going to open the first package. I'm going to stitch it. Um, I got done with that. I opened the second package. I stitched it. Um, so I've opened the third day. I haven't started the third day. But I'm just going to be, I'm going to be allowing myself the freedom to just stitch that as I choose. So um, I won't show you ahead because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. Uh, but that's why you're not seeing the physical things here is because they are over in my stitching area. And uh, I'll, I'll give you pictures as we do. So shall we jump into this? Because this is going to take forever. <laughs> This is legit going to take forever. Um, so some of these, um, as you can see, like the Asylum, or okay, so the Asylum Fibers box, the Fiber Floof, which is that red one, and the um, Punk Rock Unicorns, those are all boxes that you kind of pop open on a day-by-day -day basis. So those I'm just going to show you um, because it is way too much trouble to ch try to film me opening every single one of those. So um, my Asylum Fibers. This is, I'm going to do these in hopefully alphabetical order. Hopefully I can remember what, who all these dyers are and everything. So this is day one of the Asylum Fibers. I got the, it's the neon box. I forget what she called it. If I don't remember the names of the themes and stuff, I apologize. I am not that organized this year. Uh, and there are reasons. Um, if you're on Patreon, you know why. Uh, but yeah, so there's reasons, but this is the neon box and this is, um, I thought it was like looking pretty bulky and stuff. I forgot. I got DK weight. Um, so this is a DK weight box. All these minis are going to be DK weight skeins. So that's why it looks kind of chunky. Um, so that's the asylum fibers. Um, the next one is going to be beehive yarns. This is the patisserie collection. And, um, there was an extra little bonus box, um, and a couple of Lindor truffles. I've already eaten one of the, these are like strawberries and cream. I've already eaten one of those. We're going to open this little, this super cute little box. There's also a pink tote bag that came with this that is super cute. Ooh. So it's a little, ooh, I bet there's stitch markers in there. So that's a little macaron. Macaron. I don't speak French. My accent is probably awful. I'm sure I sound like a horrible American. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so it's like teeny tiny little star stitch markers. Try to hold that up for you so you can see it. That's so cute. Okay, so that came with little stitch markers. 
And then we have the patisserie. It's going to be fun me keeping track of these to put them back also. Oh, that's not what I was expecting for the first one. So we have this kind of light green color. Very nice. On its own, not super, like, um, I shouldn't say impressive. It's not, like, stunning, like, oh, my gosh, that's amazing. But I'm sure along with the rest of them, it's going to be it's gonna be awesome. So that's the first color for the Beehive Yarns Patisserie Collection. And next we have Bona Bona Yarns, which I don't remember what the theme was for Bona Yarns. Um, this is day 11. <laughs> this is not day one. The Bona Yarns is just kind of all mixed up in there. So give me a second. I'm going to swap this out for day one. Okay. <laughs> this is day one. Um, call me picky. Call me nitpicky. Call me whatever. Um, but... If you're going to put together a countdown or an advent box, please put things together in such a way that it's easy for your customers to pull out the individual days. So this is the Bona Yarns bag. And uh, it was evidently put together so that the first days went in first and the last days went in last, which is fine for when you're putting it together. Not so fine when you're the customer opening it up. It's, it's a small thing, but... Small things are important. Anyway, so day one. <laughs> Hopefully the yarn is absolutely fabulous. Uh, this is uh, In Blooms is the colorway. And I really should have been more careful because um, I ripped up the, the tag. I didn't mean to. Uh, but this is the first colorway. Ooh, wow. That is that is some bright stuff there. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Wow. It is like neon on camera. This is not quite as neon in person, but this is like a bright lime green. Um, but we've got some awesome speckling happening in there and some little hints of uh, some lavender and light blue. So I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So if, uh, if all the colors are bright and fabulous like this, I might forgive them for putting the bag together the way they did. <laughs> Um, a lot of these dyers are new to me. I have never shopped with um, with these dyers. So um, Beehive Yarns, Bona Yarns, um, Fiber Floof, um, Punk Rock Unicorn I have purchased from before, but this is my very first time. I think it's their first advent, but it's my first time getting an advent. Uh, so, so Royal I have purchased from before, but again, their first advent, also my first one from them. Um, let's see. You are, who are you? You are, um, you get to play the memory game. This is Sheepy, Sheepy Shire. Um, so that, they are new to me. Volmet Verve is new to me. And so is, I have these backwards. Um, Yarn Ink is also new to me. So a lot of these dyers are, are brand new to me. I've never purchased anything from, from them before. And a couple of them I have purchased from before, but have not had advents with them before. So, um, let's see. So next is Castle View. There's actually a couple extras to open with Castle View. So I'll get those as well. So we have number one for actually let's open the extras. So we have, I got the project bag and I also got the tonals. So the tonals, I'm going to try to just open one in here to be able to see because I want to kind of leave them in the bag. Ooh, this is, you can pretty much, I'm just going to leave them in here. So, because um, this was not necessarily a surprise. So the ice, the um, Castleview Yarns, the theme this year is ice cream shop. So that's pretty much what I expected. It's sort of like a waffle cone color. And then the project bag, rip it open. Feels like there's, okay. That's super cute, look at that. So ice cream shop, we got ice cream all over the project bag. It's super awesome, here for it. 
Plus, I don't know if, if y'all can see, Castleview also sent the advent in a super cute little um, cinch up bag that has the, their logo on it. I, I'm here for the logo bags, y'all. Volmet Verb sent me a logo bag for each of my advents, the weekly and the daily. So that was super fun. Okay, so now we get the yarn. My ring is super loose. It keeps sliding around. Castleview, ice cream shop. Oops, I got a peek. This is not opening how, ooh, look at that. Look at it. Oh, I like it. I like it. There's probably a card somewhere that tells me what the color names are. Look at that. It's like raspberry swirl or something, or not swirl, but like um, chocolate raspberry, raspberry and whatever. But like, I'm feeling either strawberry or raspberry. Super cute. Super cute pink color. I think I'm going to be in love with this set. I think it's going to be fabulous. Um, Fiber Floof. This one is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look. Look. It's not even, it's not coming out quite as rich. Because um, it's actually a, a really nice, deep, moody red. It's come, It's a little bit brighter on camera. But this is a fabulous, deep, moody, dark red. I love it. And if this is just, if like, if the rest of the box is this dark and moody, I'm going to be so in love with it. I love dark moody. Um, so that was Fiber Floof. This is Lofty Loops, which, you know, last year, um, it was a slow burn. Because until I put all the colors together, it didn't seem that impressive because the, the shift from one color to another was so, so subtle. But the grouping as a whole was so, so good. So I'm very excited to see what she has in store for us this year. So this color is called Winter Wonderland. I got the Glitz Base again. I'm going to... Because of how I'm opening these, I think I'm going to start just cutting them instead of ripping them open because I want to keep the numbers at the very least but this one also has the the color names so I want to keep that so this is winter wonderland Ooh. oh and there's okay <laughs> so we have some super cute little um snowflakes uh needle stoppers how cute are those? My light is super bright, so everything's kind of washed out. Okay, so there's the actual color. Can you see it? That looks really nice. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, that's very nice. So, so I love the speckling. So it's sort of a, a mauve kind of color with some yellow and orange little bit of like burgundy dark purple i like it i like it a lot it's got just a little bit of sparkle i'm excited to see what else is going to go in that set this year so many y'all we're about halfway through <laughs> uh next is punk rock unicorn so look at that it's fabulous it is it's blowing out a lot it's actually a little bit it's a subtler blue than it is showing it's really like an icy sort of like, um, uh, what is the movie? Y'all, my brain is completely blanking. Let it go, Elsa. What is it? Frozen? Jeez. Oh my gosh. Anyway, it's, it's giving Frozen vibes. Very, very Frozen vibes. We've got little specks of, um, of the more intense blue, but also like teeny tiny little specks of pink and purple. I'm here for it. So that's Punk Rock Unicorn. Here is So Royal. I got the bold set. So there is, um, um, she did dailies, uh, 24 advents in bold and subtle, but she also did Hanukkah advents or Hanukkah countdowns in uh, bold and subtle. So what I did was I got the bold for the 24 day and I got the subtle for the Hanukkah countdown. Um, so Hanukkah, I think, starts on the 7th of December. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, it's earlier this year than it was last year. So I need to look up the dates, um, but I do have a Hanukkah countdown as well. So this is the first of the So Royals. <gasps> Y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all. Talk about so royal. Look at that royal purple. Look at it. Holy crap, y'all. 
this is freaking gorgeous. That is, that is, I can't, I'm about, like trying to cuss all over the place here. I'm trying to keep it clean, but holy crap. That is amazing. Wow. Wow. Just, just wow. That's freaking amazing. I can't even like, okay. So far, this is my absolute, I mean, y'all know I love purple, but wow. 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 That's, that's so good. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. Okay. So Sheepy Shire, another new dyer to me. Let's see. I don't remember if there was a theme with Sheepy Shire. Some of these are just, Jazz said, hey, here's a dyer who's doing an advent. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Ooh. What are, what, what are you? <gasps> Interesting. Oh, look at that. Okay. This is different. Um, <laughs> the colorway is called dope. <laughs> so kind of a Homer Simpson thing. Which, now I get the yellow. If it's Homer Simpson, I totally get the yellow. What is this? Dope. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, Sheepy Shire, even though it sounds like it should be from the UK, I believe they're in the United States. Um, several of these are actually from the UK or other places in Europe. Um, but uh, Sheepy Shire is in the, the US. Volmet Verve is not German. They are... In the Netherlands or Denmark, um, somewhere else in Europe, um, and the theme for the twenty-four day is Arabian Nights. Um, the theme for the weekly is, um, uh, or that I purchased. They had a couple of different themes. I got the daily in Arabian Nights. I got the weekly in Spice Market. So this is day one of Arabian Nights. And I love the way this was packaged. So they actually wrapped up all these tiny little individual boxes into a nice, neat package. It's going to be harder to get them out that way, but it was super cute for shipping and for unwrapping. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Wow. Okay. Look at that blue. That blue is amazing, y'all. Ooh. So a couple of these are the like the two ply high twist, which used to be my absolute fave. It's not it's not my fave so much anymore, but but it's okay. It's totally fine. Um, the th the nice thing about a, a two ply high twist is that you get really awesome stitch definition. So um, what I have learned in my so very <laughs> in all of my many years of knitting. Um, yeah. Um, I have learned that, um, when you're wanting, when you're doing something with, um, where the, the stitches are more complex and you really want to see that texture or the definition of the stitches, you want to two ply high twist yarn because that'll help you really see that. Um, if you want something softer, that's, um, maybe a little bit smoother to on your hands to work with, like a single ply is really nice for that, especially if you want something really delicate. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of different reasons to use different yarns, but look at the colors. The, I wish it wasn't washing out quite so much because this is a gorgeous, like aqua teal, and it's really coming off as a, as a flatter blue than it really is. But we've got all of these other colors mixed up like, like these purple. Um, there's a really gorgeous like bright purple and lavender mixed in there. It's really beautiful. So Arabian Nights. So this, this doesn't make me think of Arabian Nights as much as it does. Um, I mean, this is very much like I think of sort of like Atlantis with this. This is very aquatic to me, um, but it's really gorgeous. I can't wait to see what the other colors are going to be. It's gorgeous. And I love how they twisted it up to put it in there because it goes right back in there. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay. Very excited. I can't wait to open the full skeins for the weekly. And lastly, lastly this is yarn ink this one is meant to be moody and dark and rich and all of those things um loki's getting investigative over here um so this one i expect to be sort of in the same um area as the the uh flu fibers fiber flu flu fibers um as that one so let's see what we got here that's not dark and moody <laughs> 
That's not dark or moody. Well, I guess it's a little bit moody. It's very romantic. It's a romantic kind of color. It's a really soft pink. It's coming off more as like a, a pale um, off-white beige, but it's it's actually a super, super subtle pink with um, a few dark speckles. So that's not dark and moody like I had expected. Which, you know, I will probably still love the whole vibe of the thing, but um, that's different. That's different than what I expected. I wonder if I, I don't think I am, because this one, let me see. Okay, I see where this is. So this is like this really pale rose there. So this is going to be like, it's going to have definite dark tones based on the mood board here, but it's going to be like a more uh, romantic, is romantic the word I'm looking for? Um, it's going to be a different kind of dark and moody than I was originally anticipating which is not bad. I think this along with some really dark colors is going to be fabulous. But uh, so I'm not mad at it. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. I'm not mad at it. Um, so this is called Eclipse of the Heart. I actually love the names. Um, they're all like dark uh, goth kind of romantic goth kind of names. There's I think that there's um, there's got to be a genre name for that that I'm just not thinking of like something to do with Lolita. I can't remember. Anyway, um, so that's going to be, that's going to be interesting to see how the dark colors build off of that. But yeah, so, okay, folks, that is, that is the last of today's. Um, and this has taken already 20 minutes. <laughs> So even at like fast speed and not a ton of chatting and outside talk, um, it's, it still takes a minute. So yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure that this is going to be a daily thing, um, this year, but we shall see. I'll see what, I'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for me today. Uh, if this is popping up on YouTube, it probably will be followed by another set of clips. We'll see. Um, if you're on Patreon, uh, you're getting to see this today or it's, I'm, I'm posting it on December 1st. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, I will see y'all again soon. Uh, make sure that you're taking care of yourselves. Make sure that you are kind to yourself, even if the world isn't. And I will see you again soon. Bye.